Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to create a pretty simple design. I'm using CS5 to get the job done today, but you could use any version of Photoshop that you want. This is what our final design is going to look like. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It could be used for something like uh, maybe a banner, maybe an advertisement. And without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to click on File, New and make the width 600 pixels, the height 450, and press OK. She looks something like this. Next, I'm going to choose a text tool. Uh, I want to choose a thick font. I'm choosing Impact just because it comes with every computer. Uh, my font size is going to be 72 points, and I want a dark color too. I already have my text color selected. Uh, the hex code for it is 4A, 4A, 4A. Once you have all that done, just click and type whatever you want. Obviously, I'll be typing octotuts.com. And then choose the pointer tool and just center that. Next, I'm going to double click on the text layer and click on inner glow. We're going to be changing a lot of the settings. The blend mode is going to be normal, opacity all the way up to 100%. The color, change it from yellow to black, press OK. And the size, I'm going to change it to about 8 pixels and press OK. Now you should have something that looks like this. I'm going to center this a little more. And then I'm going to choose the text tool again. Um, press, just click, and I'm going to type free HD tutorials. You want to type your slogan right there. Uh, I'm going to highlight it and make it full black. Press OK. I'm going to make the font a lot smaller, maybe around 24, maybe 30 would do. And then I'm going to change the font, um, the font type from Impact to Myri Myriad Pro. Should look something like this. I'm going to choose my pointer tool and put it right under it, just like that. All right, now we have this. Now we want to double click on the background layer and press OK. This is going to unlock the layer. Double click on the background layer again. Well, now let's apply a gradient overlay. So click on gradient overlay. And you want a white to a very, very light black um, or a light gray gradient overlay. And I already have mine picked out. Uh, mine's going to be, for the hash code, it is CFCFCF. And press OK. OK. And we're going to leave the scale to 100%, uh, the opacity to 100%, blend mode to normal, and the angle at 90%. And press OK. Now we're almost done. There's one more thing that I want to do to add to it. Uh, just click on File, New, and make the width, let's say, 10 pixels, and the height 10 pixels, and press OK. Now it's going to be very, very small, so you want to zoom in, obviously. Keep zooming in until you could see pretty good. It should look something like this. Now what we want to do is select a black color, choose the Paint Bucket tool, and just fill that in with black. And then what we're going to do is hold Command, Shift, N, or Control, Shift, N, if you're on Windows, to make a new layer. Press OK, and we're going to choose the Pencil tool, not the Brush tool. The Pencil tool is right under the Brush tool. Let's click the Pencil tool and just paint half of it white. So let's paint the top half white, just like that. And now what we want to do is delete the background layer. And then go to Edit, Define Brush, or Define Pattern, and press OK. Now let's go back to this image. Go back to the one we made right over here. And then let's uh, choose the paint bucket tool right here. And now up here where it says foreground, you want to switch this to pattern. And you want to select the pattern that we just made. And just uh, create a new layer, Command Shift N or Control Shift N. Press OK and then fill that in. Just like that, now you have these diagonal stripes going across. And then you want to put the opacity down to something like 10, 20%. Let's do 20, and that's it. We are done. This is what you could, you could call a banner, an advertisement. Um, you could even use these same steps and make something as big as a layout. Uh, just use your imagination and use what I taught you and make pretty much whatever you want. That's it for this video. This is octotoots.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.